All right, what's going on everyone? We have a special video today. Um, I was definitely talking a lot of excitement about the DCL and the DCL is now definitely underway and I'm going to be writing a bit of coverage uh, for the DCL throughout the season as it goes on. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's just going to be a great time. I'm really excited to play in a team tour again for the longest time I've been waiting to get back into it. And I am joined by someone who has has quite a bit of a quite a bit of a reputation here to uh to analyze the uh the the greatness of drafts. And uh It's a good reputation, I'm sure. It, it's a great reputation. All good, so right? Heard. Yeah. <laughs> so this is King L five. Uh say hello. Hello, hello. hello King L five. He has a great channel. Um so please do if you don't know me, uh I'm pretty famous for shit posting and being pretty good at Pokemon. Yeah. He's, he's, you're quite solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ego up. Ego up. No, I mean, ego he up. had to like copy um, a draft of mine in order to like succeed. I didn't have to. I chose to <laughs> and I innovated a Terra Greninja and now look, now look at all the now Greninjas going right. round one. Yep. That's true. Trendsetter. That's true. Well, look. Clearly, we both have very vibey drafts, so what a better duo <laughs> yeah, to yeah. together and look at um, some of the drafts that uh, were in DCL. And while we could look at every draft and analyze every single little component, we really just want to go off vibes here. And, uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, like, I don't really care how many grounds ground resists you have. I care how much aura you have. Aura, that's right. Aura. How cool are the sprites? That's what we need to know. The that's, colors? That's, are they working? That's right. So we're going to go down each tier. So there's SV, there's SS, there's Usum, there's Oris, and there's VGC. We'll see, we'll see how zoned out we are by VGC, <laughs> but uh, we'll start with SV and, and we'll take a look at some of the drafts that these teams have drafted. So we got four SV. We're going to start on SV1 um, with my team, the Chrome Cabal, uh, with their SV1. And this was an interesting draft because um, the... Terramon Iron Boulder was a hot contested like should should we draft an Iron Boulder and I just think Iron Boulder is ugly and kind of has some negative aura what do you think he's ugly but he's so broken that's is my it? that's my take really? yeah the, the rest of this draft though like the top four is pretty handsome I think so like it works I think you know the Valiant plus the Caesar's Edge you know Lando T is like great sprite I think the color really helps here it's pretty textbook, all things considered. I would say, like, yeah, you stole our Rotom, by the way. I don't like you. Really, there was there was a couple nah. <laughs> rolling. We I weren't gonna get Rotom here. I think you stole our Rotom in another draft. So hey, hey, <laughs> that was our Rotom. Like, yeah. So I I will say this: as much as I don't know if Iron Boulder has like cool aura, as much as it's broken, I think Meganium has really positive aura. I feel like I feel like I've seen a lot of like cool Meganium teams in Gen Nine, and I think it's really neat. It's all right, you know. I, I wouldn't write home about Meganium, but it's okay. Yeah. I, well, this Thieves team, though? Yeah. Dude, I feel like the Terrapagos <laughs> teams just... The sprite is bad. They need to change it to the Terrastal they version. Do. I always see that, and it drives me crazy, because it's not yeah. that Terrapagos form. It's, it's so ugly. But, it's like, if it turns into turtle form... Yes. Damn! Like, <laughs> He's like kind of clean. Terra. Now, my hot take is yeah. that the super turtle form is actually less aura. I actually think I think the middle like the, is the coolest looking one. Yeah, like the Terra one. Like the whatever. stellar. Yeah. The stellar thing. It's too much. Yeah, it is. Like the one they use in VGC with the ridiculous. Yeah. But like the the big turtle, he, he's cool. Yeah. All things considered, though, rain in Gen Nine has definitely like. Has it? I mean, has it picked up? I don't know if "picked up" is the right word to use, but like, no, it, no, it, it exists. Funny enough, it slotted into Sun Week One. Oh, I saw no, that. Really? It was very funny. That's really funny. Yeah, I think it's like okay. It's a little grayish in the middle. Hmm. You know, Shocks Archaladon Overquill is like not too much color popping, but hmm. then you have the Basque Legion, the, Basque Legion like the really accent helps red, that. and Ludico. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think the double, the triple Swift Swim? uh contributes to to positive aura or do you think that it, it let's be real it's double let's I let's know, yeah, keep right. it a buck it's, it's, double. it's double i think it's fine i think it's right. fine that's interesting i i don't know anything about rain and sv but i'm, I'm sure it'll do yeah on a scale of one to ten it's all right it's all right now yeah. this madman team 
I feel like has really good aura at the start, and then it kind of like shits itself by the bottom. Like, <laughs> the quillfish is way too fat. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Way too much. The mischievous is way too small, and then like the cyclozar's like face is not even in camera. Um, I feel like all of these drafts would be so handsome <laughs> if like they were with the DPL sprites. Really, but like. Yeah, because we did a sprite overhaul last season. Mm. And it's all like the nice ones that make people's phones crash, but that looks nice. <laughs> so it's I, I worth would, it. I would take that exchange if I could. Right? Because these are so ugly. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. though. It's cool. <laughs> Look, Tusk, Zapdos, Ogre Pond, Metagross, Prim. We're cooking here, and then you can bench any of the three yeah. at the bottom, and it's, it's usable. Terra Ogre Pond, I didn't realize was as strong as it was until very recently, and I actually think it's like really good. The more I've looked at it, and the more I yeah, yeah, it. it's like uh, it's like Rillaboom at the beginning of Swish, when like the grass resists were not really as common, mm -hmm. and like Rillaboom was just dominating. Well, Ogre Pond does that with people drafting grass resists. So it's like, yeah, yeah he, I've, I've it's just very strong. I <laughs> saw this Castelia game where, like, Banded Ogre Pond, like, yeah, yeah. an Enam or something. It was fucking insane. That's, that's, I would say this is the vibiest draft so far, but the top is really, really carrying it, um, mm -hmm. I would say. Now, this this next team, the Chasers team, I don't okay, know. Okay, if, I, if I put my hand over the Fortress, I can, I can deal with it. Can you? Yeah, the rest of it is pretty fire. I think it's pretty cool. But, like, the, the unburden combination, the double unburden combinations, and then you have, you know, the, the hazard support from Tinglu. Terra Edam is really interesting, because I know we had that last season, people thought it was really good, and that was before Stellar existed on it. Um, so I'll be honest, you don't really use Stellar that much. Is that not a thing? It's like once or twice a season, maybe. Yeah. Most of the time, it's like defensive Terra superpower or uh, Terra fairy specs or scarf. That's like ninety percent of Enams. That makes sense. So what is, is Stellar really just common on like Terra Serp, even though Terra Serp is bad? Is that like the only? It's one it's not even good on Serp. Really? Like Terra Stellar is just super rare in general. It's probably yeah. best on Enamorous, but it's still Literally not that common. Never seen it do anything. So I have yeah, no idea. Um, Serp usually wants like poison like, or fire. That's fair. But yeah. Dragonite I love, like, obviously I'm a big proponent, we're both big proponents of, like, SB Dragonite, and I think it's quite cheap yeah. for a team. Relatively cheap, I would say. I think a team is pretty cool, the colors are great, Yeah. just the Fortress is, like, very ugly. I don't like Fortress. Quite fast, but also really good priority options as well, plus, like, ways to boost speed on the team with Unburden, which I think is kind of neat. Um, yeah, I'm pretty big on it. Yeah. <laughs> The armory team. So this is your team. This is this is a great team that has I I'm looking at it now and realizing this is the team that my team is talking about a lot. Like, so what was this always the plan? Was it kind of just like you know what? Let's just slap two one pointers on it and see how it goes. Like okay, so Trump Zarud I think is a good combo, and then Dos getting round three is probably like Pretty one of the crazy. better better picks for this. And then, you know we have our Cinderace. You know. Hazard control and like yeah, stuff like that. Goldango, because it was still around, and we were like, hey, we could just get like a broken ghost type and then like kind of cope at the bottom, but it's like a great top six. Yeah. And then like an M Turtle is like very ugly Pokemon, but it's like viable ugly. You know what I mean? I I agree. I mean, I do think that like Edam Turtle is not super good. But I mean, like, I, I imagine there weren't that many options in, in that. It's like, it, it's the ground resist and a fairy type, so it's like, mm -hmm. it does a lot for the team, is the thing. If only Togekiss. Like, it's not replaceable. That's fair. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So, Lapras Evire, like, was there much discussion on, like, the one-pointers, or was it kind of just, like, Lapras? They're just the best one-pointers, I think. Yeah. It's interesting. Nothing major. I will say it is a little bit ugly at the bottom. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. It's a little like, ugly. Like you look at the top yeah. three, you're like, that's pretty cool. Like Terra Zarud especially has been claiming yeah. like a lot of like momentum in terms of just like how viable people think it is. Like people really think it's really good. So I've heard. Um but yeah, the bottom three are really are really honestly the bottom four. I'm a big Goldango hater. I know Goldango's good. Ooh, controversial. Like, controversial. Controversial opinion there. I think Goldango is ugly as shit. It's one of the most grotesque designs. 
Um, mm, mm. But I vibe. I vibe with the Curious. intent. I am vibe with the <laughs> with the with the basically the six mon team. I th I think it's cool to have at least one mon or one team that's like mostly a six mon team. Yeah, it just increases the quality of mons that are actually coming to the game yeah. on average. Did y'all bring it week one? Uh, yes, we did. Who's playing with it? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> You're the captain. <laughs> You're supposed to know these things. Um, it's uh, Tuesday. Are you telling me you haven't done like a million mocks yet? This is a soggy doggy sage. Oh my god, there's no way sage has this trapped. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. That'll be fun to watch. Alright, trick of eye. Terra King Gambit, Screamtail, Goliath Score. Yeah, I, the agency's playing this team this this week. Um very it, it has a lot of like ton of fat. Goliath Score, Screamtail, Glow King. It's like negative drip, I feel. Yeah, it really is. When when the most drippy mon is Miascarada, like eh. Yeah, th that that's a start, but you gotta finish it, you know? Yeah, you can it, it, it can't go downhill from there. Um, does Girder still get defog this time? Yeah, but like then you have to bring Girder. Yeah, then you have to bring Girder. <laughs> it's like no. The reason man. I ask is just because I feel like a lot of things lost defog, but Girder not losing defog is so weird. I believe it kept it. I could be just lying out of my ass. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I, I, I bet it gets. Wait, it. you're actually fact checking this? I'm not fact checking at all. No, I'm just gonna. Hell no. Nah. Um. <laughs> Also, like, if I click away, it's going to show away. Anyway, um, yeah, it's fine. It's kind of, I honestly think it has, like, the most negative aura so far. It's just too fat, and Meowskrat is the coolest thing. And, like, for sure, for sure, for more. sure. Um, I think Terra Road of Frost is a cool idea, though. That's, that's like, the one thing that I think is... Yeah, like, you're tearing your maybe. gambit. <laughs> Don't yeah. get it twisted. <laughs> yeah, you are. But, like, you know, I'm trying to find some silver lining here. Um, no. Nah. Now, this is interesting. I want to hear you tell me about this because I, I genuinely don't know anything about it. Terra Mence. I, like, I saw drafted in a couple of pools and I've never seen Terra Mence, like, really in general, nor have I really had any conversations with anyone about it. So, like... It's pretty drippy, honestly. It, really? This whole nightclub draft, I do like the colors quite a bit. The colors are great. Um, yeah, they're, like, S tier. Anything with Rotom Wash, I feel, tends to look great. And then Iron Moth is also just, like, that pop of color at the bottom that you need. I think they but literally Salamence... have every color of the rainbow. Team, which yeah, cool. Salamence really enjoys Terra flying because you get Terra Blast coverage and flying coverage is like super big in SV. Right. Uh, there's not great resist to it overall, especially alongside some coverage moves like Earthquake, Stone Edge kind of thing. Anyways, Mence often runs like defensive Terra with DD as well. Yeah. Or like just the Scarf Moxie flying or Dragon, you know. Yeah. The, the, the Terra Dragon Outrages, they do be hitting like a truck. Yeah, I guess like so. if you're able to just like really pressure the fairy, then it goes crazy. But even then you can yeah, yeah. steal with like Iron Head, I'm sure as well. And it's so. like not even out of the question for teams to just not have a fairy type in this gen. Like for example, if you look at Thieves, they don't have a fairy. Um, yeah, wow, look at that. And so then wait, Walkers oh has There's Galarian no Weezing, which is like, he's I right. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Interesting, all right. Yeah, Mens can definitely do some work. Um, I yeah, this is probably the Terra Sinisha as well. Like that thing's also a demon. Like, and that's a mod yeah. that can actually viably Terra. I think on this team as well. Yeah, colors and drip. This is my favorite so far. Yes, I like the colors here, and I especially I I, I think Moth adds a lot as well to the drip. I know I don't know if it's that great of a pick or like that great of a mon, but like I, think oh, I actually Moth don't like non Terra Moth at all. I think it's really bad. But, but the colors cool. are great. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really help it look really, really exactly, cool exactly. Um, Ogie Dogi, I also think is a nice is a nice aura mon as well. That's a complete non factor in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um. All right. Last team of this, we have the Walkers with Terra Raging Bolt, Terra Superior. I feel like this is a combination a lot of teams were looking at in terms of like getting two Terra mons. At least yeah. What I've known. Um. I think Dark Rai is pretty cool. I think Ogre Pond Hearth Flame is also interesting, given, given it's like, I don't know, not terrible, but still Yeah, strong. I think Hearth Flame is probably underrated at the moment. Yeah. I always see it do, like, decently well, even without Terra. When I saw it in Seasonal at 10 points, I was pretty shocked. But, like, I, I get it with, like, the Rock's weakness and stuff. But when it comes to the actual, like, vibes of the team, like, 
I think it's cool. I always think the sprite for Raging Bolt is so sad because it's just the neck. Like, there's no face. There's no. <laughs> yeah, iron neck, basically. <laughs> Um, but um these things like seeking sinking into the ground tragically quackaballs decapitated it, here's like here, here's my take right. i don't think the team is that bad but the drip is bad really? i don't like the aura what, what is contributing yeah. to the to the negative aura of this team um it's hard to say right i think just the sprites aren't cool enough yeah there's no sprite here where i'm like wow that's a cool looking mon yeah i think like I'm biased and want to say like Darkrai, but like I feel like Darkrai has gotten so much hate this generation that like it's kind of a lost. I hate like, Darkrai. Darkrai is terrible. He's so bad. <laughs> oh, the the Pokemon's all right, but but Professor Shuckle I hate him so badly. Oh yeah, he's he's a yeah he's a messed up dude. All right, yeah, I think SV one. What <laughs> wins the drip competition? I want to say it's like... nightclub easily you think it's for me club. yeah i think like yeah. the colors are really good i was gonna say like i think there's a competition for the chasers to have it but i think i think nightclub for me chasers and cabal are like the next two up yeah that's the All top right. three yeah i think the colors on cabal's team are are, are pretty decent Meganium is yeah, carrying, works. but i don't know all right sv2 now this is interesting because we have Hitmon Chan on the first team. Now this isn't the first Hitmon Chan trick of I team, and I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I actually hate trick of I though because they had the option to go Valiant Chomp Zarude and they didn't do it. They chose Terra Ogre Pond. I mean, yeah, is that really which that I believe is wrong. Why, I believe it's wrong. Why do you believe it's wrong? Because their Terra Zarude is broken. Yeah, that's, that's my whole reasoning. That's fair. Swalot makes me really happy to see do well this gen, and I think it I think it adds positive aura to a team. I don't know if that's a hot take because I think it's kind of like you know your throwaway poison type, but also I kind of think Swalot's really cool every time I see Swalot. Um, I feel the same. It's just Buck. it's just poverty muck. I feel yeah, <laughs> like, literally though, but like like oh no, know. muck got taken. I'll just get <laughs> Swalot. <laughs> I think the Hitmonchan is really, really depreciating the the aura of this team, though. I I think like it, you could get Valiant Chomp, and that's really cool. But if, if your bottom two are Hitmonchan, and then like I don't know, Goldango is still I don't like shit. I don't like the two yellow mons next to each other, and then Lantern is still a little bit yellow. It's like too much it's, in a clump. It's too I feel much like yellow, yeah, altogether. Yeah. I also can't. Not, I know, I know not being racist or anything, but <laughs> too, <laughs> too much yellow. Just saying. Um, now what's interesting to me as well, I know, I know it, we're not going to talk about the competitiveness of it, but the fact that you, I can't get over it. The fact that you would willingly spend three points on Hitmonchan does drive me a little bit crazy. <laughs> like that is kind of nuts. Dude, it's the removal. Nothing else removes on this team. Yeah. Jesus. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, this next team, I actually really think this next team has cool aura. The nightclub is kind of, kind of, kind of doing well with the aura. I know there's a bit of like gray and black well, it's just in the another... middle, but it's the Rotom wash. Yeah. It's the double green. It's another Rotom. It's red. Rotom's yeah. so handsome. It really is. I think the slither wing is like so cool as an eighth slot here. Yeah. It looks like fire underneath the team, which I, yep. which I can dig. Um, 10 point slither wing. Wow. It. I mean, I don't want to say it's fallen off, but it does seem quite lower than than I remember it. Yeah, it used to be like 14 points, yeah. like when the gen first dropped. And it was like, all right, and then nobody used it for like a year, so yeah. now it's at 10. Oh, I just realized there's no sun on this team. What? No, there isn't. Okay, that's kind of It feels weird. like there should be sun, but like there, there isn't. Sun, right? Okay, interesting. Well, I like the colors at the very least. Yeah, yeah. All right, this next team, I don't know what the fuck to think. There's a Basque Legion without rain. There's Zarud Enam on this team as well, but this team is just worse than than the other team that we saw, um, which was your team. I think Bronzong is kind of weird. Like Bronzong, I don't think has really contributed like a ton of positive aura. Yeah, it's like tutorial how to make a bad Great Tusk draft. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we cooking here? <laughs> there is a Terra Zarud though, so it, it's good. All right. I still think for for, for the know. bottom four though it's like three big ass sprites in a car bank. <laughs> it's so goofy. 
<laughs> what is he doing there? I don't Who know. invited Lil Bro? <laughs> I hope Carving does something on somewhere in this draft, like this season. We've seen this is the the second slew of drafts, and we've seen Carving drafted in both. So I don't know. We'll see. I think it's a good one pointer. It's like viability wise, it's all right. It gets spiked. It's just the uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's too small. All right. No aura. Well, Chrome Cabal, my team again. I actually really dig this. This might be my favorite SV draft that we have, but I'm kind of like in the minority about it. I think the team kind of likes some of the other drafts, but um, I really like this draft a lot because I think I just think we have a lot of cool lawns like Necrozma and Terra Gren, which you know, Terra Gren, my lawn. beloved. But I also think Terra, <laughs> not you know, not to be a total like, I don't know. I just think Terra Conk is so cool, like Terra Normal facades, and then you can also run like a bunch of different other options, like yeah, and also that's the low Q P. That's the Loki P special on yeah. Kelder. It kind of felt like like yeah. a like a team like you know necessity to have like you know a Terra Conk somewhere on it. For me, it's like this team has drip, but it has average colors. I agree, which yeah. is like impressive. I I I think we have a lot of like strong looking mons. Like if we pull up to like team preview, like the entire team looks like it's gonna fuck you up, but it's not. Yeah, looking. yeah. Like it's gonna like you know. I don't know. But like, I could use a little bit of like <laughs> red towards like the sixth pick or yeah. something like that. That would yeah. really make it pop. It's it's not gonna look pretty. While, while yeah, there's not enough green, I think there's not that. enough green. Yeah, Bombstone's too uh, too white. <laughs> oh, yeah, not being racist again. I promise. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah, a Meganium would be cool on this team, just for color's sake, not for not for uh, anything else. Yeah, it, it could work. Something like that. All right, I still think nightclubs in the lead, um, which is which might be a double win for nightclub. We'll see if anyone beats it. But looking down the line, I don't I don't know. Um, this next team, Chiu, I think is really cool drip these days. Um, Cyclozar, I think, is always just gonna gonna suck it away though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like net neutral between the two of them. Let's see. How do you feel about it? Dude, the round five thwacky is just so wacky. You know what I mean? <laughs> bars. <laughs> bars. So wacky. Someone was trying to... Someone on my team... I won't name names, but someone on my team was trying to tell me that in this... They were like, in this generation... Maybe I'm misquoting them, but like, in this generation, picking thwacky with your Sneasel team is far more optimal than picking Rillaboom with your Sneasel team. You That's just wrong, that but it's okay. <laughs> That's, that, that cannot be correct. <laughs> It's cool though. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really see it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like fine. Uh, yeah, it's like I'm not offended. I'm not offended, but like it, <laughs> it's not like winning any medals. Yeah. Um, no, this is a team that I'm really interested in. Aura wise, non Terra Sinisha, Paldean Tauros. I don't know if I've ever seen Paldean Tauros drafted in my entire life. Um, and like Lando T. I don't think Lando T is winning any like drip medals. But maybe it is. I don't know. It depends. It's kind of I like crazy. Lando T. Maybe, maybe like we can it. disagree there. I just don't think it's like positively contributing to the team's aesthetic. You know? You don't think the orange is nice? I think the orange is cool, but not when it's like in the middle of the draft. I think if it was at like the top of the draft, it would be cool. I think you're tripping. I don't know. It's really? cool though. I feel like the sprites on this are all way too fat. <laughs> Everything is wide. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a Weight Watchers meeting, bro. <laughs> Glamora, especially. Glamora is really good. Yeah, yeah. It fills up the whole slot. <laughs> Glamora is like face on the camera, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think the reason I don't like Lando on this team, I'm, I'll, I'll drop it after this, is just because everything else is like the blue and the green and that type of like color. And then it's just, it sticks out like the sore, sore thumb color wise on this team. I, mean, I think you need something to break it up though. That's fair. But like, I feel like if you're going to have seven of like the same ish color scheme, then you just have to commit to it. Whereas like, you know, if it's like seven and then one that kind of just like pops out, then I think See, that's something so. I have disagreed on with a few people now. So maybe it is just me, but I don't like the same color next to each other all the time. Interesting. I think it looks bad. I too think monotonous. it looks bad if it's like in a clump, but if the entire team is themed in that type of shade, then that's kind of cool. Like a mono. Yeah. Then you're trying too hard though. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you're drafting blue Pokemon? Like, 
<laughs> Congratulations. Alright. Agree, disagree. Um all right, all right. Chasers. Uh Bolt Dio is pretty cool. Bramble, I hate. I hate. I think Bramble's cool, but I hate the actual like like sprite of Bramble. Like its face is like right up to you. Like Yeah. It's it's too much. Yeah, the colors are right, but the drip is bad. The drip is this bad. is like the opposite of Cabal. Mm. Yeah, I do agree with that. Round four, Hisui and Samurai's fucking crazy though. Yeah, it's just kind of on a downswing right now. Is it really? So I get it. In terms of like popularity in the tournament scene, yeah. Interesting. Why is that? I mean, it's just like. I think people spammed it too much, and it got a little bit overpriced. So now it's coming down a little bit. That makes sense. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, we got your team. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't know. On on story. our doc, on our doc, we have the good turtle form, and yeah. this team looks so sick. Really? I yeah. Think yeah. Here I looks, promise it's good. I think if we're evaluating what the official DCL drafting doc looks like, it looks, <laughs> yeah, yeah. looks kind of mid. I'm sorry. Like Urshifu Rabbit's face just, just so looks sad. like infinitely bigger than the rest of the team. I, I don't like the sprite on Rapid Strike on these docks, but, like, it's such yeah. a good mon, like, in the That's actual cool. server. I have an opinion about Aura and, like, drafts, and it's, like, if if you want to know if your draft is a good draft, if you're going to pull up to, the to like, the team preview and, like, your entire team looks like a bunch of thumbs, it's not, it's not very good. Like, tiny little guys, I think. I think, like, if you have too many tiny little guys, it looks a little... Looks a little weird. Looks a little thumbnail. Yeah, you like the bodybuilders? Not the yeah. bodybuilders necessarily, but like compare it to Cabal, right? Like you show up with like Dragonite, Iron Treads, Gren, Necrozma. Like that's against like Clod Sire, Klefki, Latias, Terrapagos. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't, have you been paying attention recently? Latias has kind of been tearing it up. Yeah, but that's with Terra, no? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a, Wait a minute. Um, okay, I do want to talk about this though. I, I was mentioning this in my team chat. I actually think you chose some really interesting Terra captains across like the entire board of SB. Like I think a lot of people we did, yeah. have really safe options, and I, I really appreciate the the Terra Urshifu Rapid Strike pick. Um, yeah, basically my whole team thinks it's broken, which is great because I wanted to draft that thing for years, and everyone's like, ah, uh, just get Quackable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I love that. Yeah. I don't think Terra Quackable was drafted at all. Um, no, it wasn't. Time. So, yeah. So was that? It sounds like that was the plan from the start in terms of like or terror or should we rapid strike. It wasn't like. A... So we were actually looking at also like terror annihilate on this draft, but yeah, the Urshifu line ended up being like the coolest. Yeah, that makes sense. It is quite cool. I feel like if annihilate was on this draft, it would it would still look a little like I don't know. I think Urshifu actually gives more drip than annihilate on this team. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. All right, winner of this draft? I think it's Nightclub. I think Nightclub's two for two on this. Mm, I hate to say it, but yep, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, all right. We'll see if Nightclub continues the streak. That's kind Well, of actually, insane. technically, I think my team's better, but the wrong sprite is on the draft board, so... <laughs> yeah, I can't evaluate it fairly. We'll give it to Nightclub. All right, let's take a look at this. So, it's Phantom Thieves... Uh, I drafted a lowland sand slash. I immediately think that's kind of weird aura. Um, <laughs> it's a little wonky. I, I've never seen someone who's like you know not weird draft a lowland sand slash. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you do know we play Pokemon, right? We're all weird. I'm not weird. What are you talking about? Speak for yourself. Cap, cap. <laughs> I do like this thieves team. I it's think it's cool. pretty cool. I like I like all the synergy with the snow, actually, unironically. Plus, I like the webs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I know people are kind of like low on webs sometimes because of like boots existing, but I still think it's kind of demon to have an eight mon just as an option. Um, plus, Terra yeah, it, on its own is it's really fine. good. Yeah. Team is kind of slow in general, though. Like Val is the fastest mon, and then it's like. I don't know. Val's Rude Kiram Lanu yeah. T is like and I, the main I don't speakers. say that as like a competitive critique. I say it as in like the team looks slow. Like the team like like vis visually looks quite like sort of like you know. Like they took the short bus. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, yeah. 
<laughs> they they really are not able to like you know take a walk i don't know um, <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah am i wrong though like it, right. it's kind of stumpy <laughs> I, I, I see it a little bit but it's almost pretty funny. Uh, yeah. it's fine um all right well we got mad men here uh mad men's interesting i think i think gouging fire what do you what do you think of the drip levels of gouging fire i think it's like the ultimate drip pokemon i, I agree i was just gonna say yeah like he's swagging out you see him yeah, yeah. see that on his head that's crazy <laughs> Do you, yeah. do you feel, I think the top five of this team, super dope. Like, if that Yeah, trends, like, can't like, get much better. There, like, like, that would be, like, versatility in colors. You got red, you got yellow, you got orange, you got green, you got blue. Yeah. You got purple with the spot. That's cool. I think the Mimikyu's like kind the, of holding it down, but. Yeah. I don't know. The Those default has to be Obama's, though, if you're considering, like, a top six here. Mm, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mimic you Swalot. No, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to bench warmers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this team, now this team, Chasers. I was saying from the start of the draft, I want to see Terra Hisui and Lilligan. I want to see that shit cuz I think it's going to be really good, but maybe I'm crazy. Um and I think it looks fucking cool. Like I think Hisui and Lilligan is an awesome looking mod. I think it's Sprite here isn't doing it any favors because it came to capital. Yeah. Like, Ninetales is kind of, like, sitting on that head. Um, but I don't know. I think Ninetales is way more drip than Torkoal. I think Asylian and Lillian's cool. I think, I think I don't know, Zapdos Sun get those fire weather balls. It's kind of neat. I feel like I've seen so many Ninetales and, like, no Torkoal. Really? Yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. Ninetales is like the premier option now in is draft really? at least. I mean I, I think it's yeah. like, Torkoal is I guess if you want like more roll compression for like spin and, and rocks, but no, the Ninetales like, healing wish is like so valuable, I feel. Yeah. Baton pass too, I suppose, is also quite nice. It's yeah. Like, or like overheat eject pack. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. I like Ninetales. Um but yeah, no, I I like this team a lot. And it's a very colorful team as well, which I can appreciate yeah again there's a round four fortress on there so <laughs> it's like in a minus team, 10 points like, for that yeah that's the issue it's like i really don't want to give it to a, to a fortress team but if you remove fortress the worst mod on this team and like look at the seven then you're fine um yeah i don't know yeah, yeah. now i think this team has a lot of drip from your side of things i think terra glass year immediately gets like ultra huge drip, drip. huge yeah drip. like massive um and i think cinderace is cool i think serena is cool you know i'm a i'm a big fan of serena um yeah yeah, yeah. i i think this yeah, is like, the coolest enam team by far so far yeah yeah we were really happy to get the jirachi d knight like yeah. back to back because yeah. we weren't sure d knight was going to make it back round four yeah. there's just so much offense and then like ting lu being fat <laughs> you know <laughs> And there's I, definitely like a lot of good modes here i'm serious i do think i do think serena is like an underrated mod this gen and I'll, i'm happy to be like the only person who believes it but i i think it makes a team look i think it makes the team look cool makes the team look prettier and it uh you know just is also a great mod in itself so so true so true uh now this team terra bastiodon i know you're big on the terra bastiodon train um well you don't tear it but i do like bastiodon yeah yeah sure sure but like i don't know explain the explain the perk of bastiodon to my viewers who who might not be as in the know so i actually wrote the analysis on the smogon site for bastiodon in draft basically he's just an emergency button you know you you have your sturdy you take any hit and then you metal coat or counter or roar you know it has so many options like stop a sweep. Yeah. Like foul play as well. A yeah. great option. Here I don't think you need it. Really? You have DOS for revenging. Like it's cool, bro. Are you don't need that it. Many like two point options that could have been better though. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> like it doesn't really matter. Bastion's fine. It's just you're not bringing it, I don't think. 
one thing I will say about this team, as cool as like Terra Bastiodon is this gen, or, or just Bastiodon in general, it's so ugly. Like the Gweezing plus the Bastiodon plus the Dragalge, like, I don't know. It's kind of gross. Too many grays. Yeah, a lot of these mons are not winning any pageant contests. <laughs> They're not qualifying either. I definitely agree with that. Uh, Alright, nightclub title defense. I think I think we're really going up against like we're probably going up against your team here in terms of in terms of drip because chasers chose fortress and that just kind of immediately takes them out of the running. I'll be honest, nightclub is like fourth fifth in this pool for me. Yeah, I don't think it's that great. Like Terramence is cool, the round Sinisha is cool, but like round three Tentacruel is just so <laughs> silly. I think round five Belly Bolt's silly as well, personally. I think Braviary is kind of overhyped this gen. I think they just took like a couple of mons. Like it's kinda eh. Yeah. Sorry, Nightclub. Tough shit. Yeah. Um Walkers, I like this team. I don't know if it's actually a competitively good team, but I like that it's the only team that actually like went for the like twelve and twelve Terra Captain. I think that's kinda neat. Is it the only one? I think it is, at least from the one that I saw. In terms of like them both being like the same. Price. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Mesper Diancy is kind of... Toxicroak is cool. Like, Toxicroak adds to the drip. Toxicroak is drip. Yeah, he's like ultimate drip. Can, yep. we, can we talk about the fact that the docs still have, like, fucking baby palafin on the thing? Yeah, that needs to be fixed ASAP. <laughs> like, get the hero form in there. Get the turtle form in there. Like... It just why it's, why are we doing even this see the full dolphin like it's like right it's it's bad i'm not into it um and i know the sprite exists just yeah, use it just use it um it's all right cool though. It's now cool. i i'm gonna argue I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of an argument but uh -oh. i'm not gonna lie like like your team disagree is definitely like you know your team oh, i agree actually I, but, agree, I agree i agree but <laughs> but I think, I think our team's pretty cool. I think it's like two or three in in this like you know in this pool, um, just because just because I think we got some cool guys like regular Ogre I, think, Pond, I like regular. I think Ogre to Pond. your point, this team looks a lot better in team preview than it does in sprite form. Yes, agreed. Like Ogre Pond, yeah. Lando, Crackle Ball, all very scary looking dudes. Dark Eye Rage yep. Rebel, very scary. I don't know. Like every every mon is a cool mon. Like I don't think there's a mon on this team yeah. that's like actively like like an uncool mon, personally. Yeah, that's cool. But I think you got it. I think it's one point to armory. I think nightclub's yeah. still at two, but I think it's one point to armory for sure. Yeah, I think honorable honorable mention to thieves here like and well, madmen. Yeah. Agreed. I think both of them are pretty cool. And like chasers, if they didn't drop fortress, was was, was getting it, but they dropped yeah, fortress, so they lose. They love fortress. Oh, I don't know why. Um, yeah, we're not done with their fortress drafts, by oh, the way. We're Jesus not even done. Christ! All right, SV four. Uh, let's try and just like find the one here. I mean, walkers. I don't think it's walkers. Gouging fire is cool, but like they drafted a bisharp, and there's a bronze. Did they draft two bronzongs? All right. <laughs> oh nah, bro. All right. They did. They did. They did. Um, our team, the Cabal team, I think it's like actually a, a really good team. I really like this team, and I like the concept behind it. You know, I'm always a huge fan of Terra Rotom fan. I think the team is pretty negative drip. Like, I I think the team gets 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 too small. It has the bad Palafin sprite. Garchomp's too yeah. tiny. Iron Crown's like you can't see it. Um, I like the mods individually. I do too. Like Chomp Torn, Palafin is broken, Iron yeah. Crown. Yeah, I especially like Glamora with just like Torn and Garchomp and Palafin. Like, yeah, like, I do like I Glamora do like Glim here. One of the few Gen Nine mods I've had experience using, and I loved it. It was really fun. Yeah, I think there's like two Glamora sets, and it's Scarf and the Rock Polish Meteor Beam. Mm. Anything else is probably trolling in my eyes. Really. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. I'll have to relay the message. Um, yeah, yeah. Ultimate Sun Team. I mean, this is definitely like the most Sun Sun Team from the Thieves. There is a Torkoal. Okay. There is an I actual lied. Torkoal. Yeah. Instead of Nine Tails. Nine Tails may have been better on this team, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like you already have Spin and Rocks. Like. Right. 
I guess the argument is like Torkoal gets up sun more times on average, but I don't even know if that's true. I don't know if that's true either. Slow ass fire type. <laughs> Those are historically not that great. <laughs> Maybe someone's just not a believer in Nine Tails on that team. Maybe I don't know. Or too much of a believer in Chimeco. I mean, this is the JCM Shadow team, surely. Like, there's a Chimeco. Yeah. Player. That makes sense. What do you think of Terra Walking Wake? Is that is that positive aura or negative aura? I think this is pretty drippy, honestly. Really? I would have preferred to see a Terra Great Tusk here, mm. but if you're gonna go for another Terra, this works. I think. I'm not gonna lie. You bring up a good point. I think if any team got Terra Great Tusk, they would ultimately like automatically win the the drip contest. Yeah, it's Terra just such Great a great Tusk, mod. That's cool. Like, mm -hmm. I'm big on that. It's interesting. All right, I, I think that's number one right now. I think Mad yeah, Men. I think it's the one to beat. I honestly don't know if we need to talk about the Mad Men team that much. I think this is like one of the least aura teams. It's very so ugly. Far. It's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and they drafted round seven uh, iron bundle and they're the only team that drafted iron bundle in the entire draft yeah um useless uh we got a third car bank fourth car bank no third car bank third yeah yeah but another fortress so shout out they, yeah okay okay so all different teams got car bank another fortress fucking garbage uh um, yeah i like this team overall though really mm-hmm Grenting, D Knight, Rotom Wash. Like, they're all like nice mons. Yeah. And Sensha, Iron Moth, like as a top six, I, I actually like it quite a bit. I can dig that. Yeah. I would probably put this above Thieves for me personally. Really? What is Drake yeah. about it though? I don't know. It's just all cool mons. I like them all. Besides Whereas Thieves, Fortress, you know. Like... Yeah, yeah. If I'm putting my hand over Fortress. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, well, let's look at yours. Thieves is cool, but yeah. Yeah. I think I'm more team Thieves than Chasers, but uh, we'll see. We'll That's see cool. That's cool. Do. We can go with it. So round three. Right, armory, though. Round four, Volcanion. That's interesting. Yep. Why? You gotta. You gotta? Yep. Shit. It's mostly because our plan, like, nothing was getting sniped anyways. So just like get the get the cool guys. Was yeah, there basically. was there someone on your team in particular who is like a big Terra Volcanian voucher or like was it kind of just Yeah, like, like multiple universal? people really? on my team were like, this guy's the truth. Really? It's kinda cool. Especially with Terra Mets. Yeah. Again, it goes back to me appreciating the the Terra choices of y'all this this draft. Like, yeah, what, what the double it? viable like, ones. Enam Glastier is fucking cool. Like Glastier in itself is cool. Like Volcanion, yep. Salamence, Moltres, or Shrew Rapid Strike, Sabrud Enam. I guess besides debatably Terra Enam T, like pretty great Terra captains all around. Probably my favorite set of them in terms of just like coolness. Sweet. TOE. Fucking Aloe. Fucking Masperet, Tinkaton. I feel like all these mons are such like like you just see it and you just feel like negative excitement yeah i don't even want to talk about this one to be honest let's not <laughs> <laughs> bet <laughs> um nightclub i don't even this know. is the worst nightclub one <laughs> it's terrible yeah i don't want to talk about this one either it started it's... so strong what like nightclub yeah. in general but no fire leafy on mammo swine is the ground i guess I yeah talk. hatterene Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's For me, this pool is Walkers, Thieves, Chasers. Walkers, Thieves, Chasers. I, I think, I think Gouging Fire is carrying that Walkers team way too much. I think it's Thieves or Chasers. We can give like one point to both since neither of them have anything. But I don't know if that's, if that's too much. Nah, you got to choose one. All right, all right. I'm picking Thieves. How do you feel about that? Let's I just, go with I can't Thieves. Can't reward a Fortress team. It, right it's, it's just, otherwise it's, i love that team bad. but i like that team there's like, a fortress take it out and replace it with like anything it's fine pine yeah right <laughs> no, maybe not a pine go <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll do we'll do some quick running through like the the ss use and oris and vgc maybe, maybe like some quick glances and, and maybe we can ask yeah, some, yeah. some questions about stuff but 
I'm I'm gonna say I think I think this is this is where Cabal wins. Maybe I'm crazy, but this is this is SS one. I want to say Cabal wins it. You are crazy. <laughs> what? What? Come on. <laughs> We got okay, to be fair, we're in a pool with the two worst Swiss traps in like the entire tour. Toe and Nightclub. They both look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like no flame, no flame, but they're terrible. <laughs> the Oranguru. The yeah, Oranguru is interesting. I just can never get behind a round three, round four Lycanroc Azelf combo and a Buzzwell Rotom Heat combo. Like, what are we cooking? You know, <laughs> the kitchen has uh, burned I'm, down. I'm, I'm gonna totally be like eating like my words by the end of the week because I we play Trick, trick of Eye Week one, but um, Skyhorse yeah, drafted. That's double an eight no. That's double, an eight no. Skyhorse drafted double Rotom Heat, double Reggie Steel. So we were looking at like the, yeah, three, that's uh, three drafts, and we were like, what are we gonna do? Like. <laughs> It's kind of like the Legion of Boom in DPL. They drafted double Latios Azumarill Steelix in Swish. Mm. Nobody knows why. That's... <laughs> they did bad. <laughs> I I want to say that our team has the most aura just because it's so like like I don't know like prepare your ass for like just all these like demon lawns. But maybe 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 I'm crazy. It, within this pool. There's a little bit of an argument, I feel like. Okay. What's but the I think there's there's competition from Mad Men. Okay. Kind of chasers and then walkers. Okay. I feel like chasers are probably the least uh, solid of those because yeah. the mylotic is like the mylotic is really creepy. not as not as much drip. <laughs> um, but like the top three and Scrafty, they all have aura. They do, but I think they have overplayed aura. Like you, we've just seen yeah, it's so like much, cookie know? cutter kind of aura. Mm -hmm. So like I don't want to put it at the top. It's like buying aura on like Amazon, and you're like oh, yeah, you, like, yeah, exactly, cool. exactly. Like prepackaged. Um, I don't. I disagree with you on the walkers. I I think I think Cradilly is kind of goofy. I think Pangoro is really goofy as well. Um, maybe yeah. maybe I'm crazy on Pangoro, but. I'm just like super down for that. the top, like Mel Metal Slowbro combo. I like, love Mel Metal Slowbro. That's cool. I think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. There's a reason you see it a lot as well. Yeah. And then Chomp, Steela, Cinder, you can see from Mad Men. Like, it's nice. The colors are there. The threats are there. It's nice. Oh, I like it. Yeah, the colors in particular on the Mad Men one are great. Yeah, and I guess I guess yeah. I gotta not be biased and and acknowledge that yeah, like that definitely wins the color race. I'm happy saying that teams that teams in the second. This this was definitely my like experimental and see what happens type draft for uh, yeah yeah football. So uh, just acknowledging that. And, I think yeah. I can say Madman. You can be biased and say Cabal. That's yeah. fine. But the point goes to Madman. I think I think objectively speaking, um, it's fine. Right. Pe people wow. on my channel will get to see the uh, the SS one draft. I'm sure at some point maybe. Um, yeah yeah. <laughs> Anyway, right, switch two. Switch two. So what? Let's do a quick tally. So we got two for nightclub, even though they're kind of shit in the bed lately with <laughs> Rangaroo. Um, <laughs> we got one for um, thieves. We got one for armory, and we got one for madman. All right. So SS two. Immediate glances. <sighs> this pool is stacked. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not going to be easy. What do you think of RSS2, which is the Torn Necrozma Rotom one? I've heard uh, it's it's not near the top, but the competition is stiff. I think this would yeah. probably win Swish 1, unironically. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many colors. Yeah, yeah. But here, the Thieves one is beautiful. So I'll, this, be, I'll be the first to admit. This is what I mean by, like, Lando T on top. I think Lando T, this is, this is what I meant when I said earlier, like, I think Lando T looks good on certain types of This drops. is so this handsome. Is where it really does. It looks really And this is definitely a better Coco Victini angle, mm. like, looks-wise. Yes, yeah. I agree. It kind of blends I I, into each other, which I can vibe with. Yeah. I just have to hit the Thieves button, though. That's so handsome. Yeah. Thieves is... I, I think without question it's the thieves I do want to give a special shout out to Drudigan I don't think any rest of the team has drip but Drudigan has ultimate drip like if you show up to a draft with Drudigan I think that's pretty cool personally yeah. I got a war as Drudigan coming up do you really? yeah I'm yeah stoked. yeah I'm excited about that alright yeah, is that right. thieves first win? no second win alright so second thieves, and, thieves mm -hmm. and nightclub neck and neck I should like be keeping a running tally of this or something yeah um, maybe I should? Eh, I can't 
Oh wait, I can. Oh baby. All right. Well, you you start telling me about SS3 while I while I get some stuff down. All right, SS3. Maybe I'm just biased to to Aegis Lash teams, but I think the Cabal also looks great here. Um, I also rate Nightclub in the colors, but the viability is definitely lower. Uh, Haxorus is drip. Uh, Guzzlord is drip. Guzzlord's super. But I don't know how many wins it's gonna get. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but but the mons are cool. The mons are cool. Uh, I like our team, the Armory, uh, Lottie Mel, and then like the Clef Rillaboom like late in the draft. Be cool. I think this team low key, or this draft low key, like I. <sighs> I want to say it's Haxorus Guzzlord. Like, I think the double dragon and Necrozma, like, I think it's just a lot of cool things. And that's, that's like, a team that goes to my principal. If, like, you pull up on team preview, that entire team looks terrifying. That entire team makes Roselia look terrifying. That's what that's what I think, like, is cool about it. I don't know. How do you feel? All right. I think Aura, it has to be Nightclub. Yeah. But all-rounder, I'd go Cabal. Really? What what mm -hmm. edges Cabal outside of like Aura that that makes it good? I, I don't know. It's just like a strength of Nightclub. It's not necessarily Cabal being bad. I see. All right, that makes sense. All right, we'll give it to Nightclub. I'm trying to remember who won this one. The Thieves won this one. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Thieves won this one. SS one was won by. Madman. All right. Cool. All right, we got. That's it. That's it for SS. All right. Yeah. Do, do we have an ultimate SS winner? Do you think it's the SS two? The uh, the thieves one with Lando. The thieves uh, SS two. Yeah, easily like for me. Drift. Like if you get fucking yeah. ducks and make it look like good. I think that's yeah. Cool. All right, Usum won. Can we just talk about how Usum also has like the coolest drip as like the actual like dock as well, like the orange? It just feels like a sunny day. I like it. I think it's a little bit too bright, honestly. Really? But Ooh. It's not bad. Yeah. I just I just always feel bad when I'm in SS. Like I just feel like <laughs> like it's designed yeah, not to be a little happy. bit dull. <laughs> but in orange, it's like maybe I'm just speaking from like relativity. Like I'm just constantly yeah maybe like blue gray all day anyway anyways how do you feel about dude, this one the armory team this is the drippiest i think yeah i like the cackleon a lot the double dragon z the double dragon oh, z i think it's hot I think you got some cool little like smaller guys like i love crowbat i love cackleon i'm big on pawnyard too um no, think... good because we got three of them <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah nice. two in ORS. um i think the chasers team also looks pretty cool like i i, I think like getting a for alligator is quite neat the bronze song is like bringing it down a bit but like mega pidgeot as well i've seen that do some stuff yeah that one's not bad for sure i think that might be a close runner up to your team but i think i think low-key like if you get a kecleon and you get like double dragon z's it's gonna be hard to beat that. It's just aura. It's, it's, it's too unlimited much aura. Honest. Like, I'm yeah, overflowing gonna even. All right, I think that puts Armory in the running. Uh, unless there's any any other team you want to draw attention to, I think this team is like super negative aura for like our team, for example. Like we drafted round five Grand Bull. Yeah, like <laughs> this team needs Grand Bull. Like yeah. I get it, but <laughs> round five Grand yeah. is pretty rough. Um, Alolan Marowak, I also think is really cool. I was trying to convince my team to take Sword and Shield Alolan Marowak, but honestly... Yeah, it's a cool mon. I don't know. It actually used to be my favorite Pokemon. Really? Just straight up. But is not anymore. Or... Wigglytuff's up there, but it's Greninja, I think, for me. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. Just overtook Hydreigon. That's awesome. Yeah, I like Greninja. I do like my dark types. Yeah, you're like a dark type trainer. I didn't realize that. Cool. All right. Yeah, All right. I dig it. I mean, Kecleon's like it's. A, it's a, I just love Kecleon. I think Kecleon's really good. <laughs> beast. Beast. Uh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Please, like, cook up some awesome Kecleon sets. Um, yeah. 
Okay. I use them too. I want to ask you something because honestly, I haven't like analyzed the drafts of this side, of, like the Auras and the Usum side of things. But I saw multiple mm -hmm. Mega Absils drafted. How do you feel about this? So we drafted it mostly as a backup to Mega Doom because it got taken. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I am quite famous for being a Mega Absol hater. Yeah. With a copy pasta to my name. Yeah. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um. I don't think Armory wins this because of Alolan Doug Trio as well. I, I think there's too many weird ones on yours. No, I don't think we're in the rubbing. We're in the running for I this don't think school. Cabal's in the running for this either, to be honest with you. No, I think I think it's Walkers and Madmen. Walkers and Madmen. That's what I'm looking at. Why Walkers? I mean, the Victini is drip. Mm -hmm. Snorlax, I enjoy. Mega Sceptile's cool. And then torn plus chomp. Strip, That's my big hey. Up. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> that mon is popular. <laughs> We're looking at. I was looking at the draft and I was like, all right, Lando, I Serp, Infernape, Scarm, Latias. This all makes sense. Mega Glade, or sorry, not Mega Glade. Uh, yeah, Infernape, Skarmory, Muta Queen, Zapdos, Steelix. Oh, okay. So Steelix goes before Uxi, Scizor, Victini. It's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just like the team. I like but the team too. uh Mad Men. I think this one's also good, pretty though. drip. Yeah, I, I like the Mega the Colors Dino. are nice. I like Muck in older generations as well. I think it looks kinda nice. I think he's a bench boy, but he's a bench boy, but like he looks <laughs> cool. cool. Like he's a nice he's a cool bench boy. Like he's not like yeah, Gorgeist yeah, yeah. or like, you know. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> or Suicune or regular Dino. What the hell? <laughs> what is Trick of Eye cooking on this team? So they started out going for the same like kind of thing they had in DPL, which was the Steel Latios, yeah. uh, Needle Queen, Comfy, Victini, Cloister, Mega Sableye. <laughs> yes. And then their Victini got taken, <laughs> and they <laughs> cried themselves to sleep. <laughs> and it was Tangela last on that. So, so Tangela and Victini both went, uh -huh. and I think they just coped at the end with Tarmana <laughs> and Suicune. <laughs> And round yeah. by will it in at that. It's very interesting. Yep. Four points, too. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, Quilladin is like the number one most benched Pokemon of all time in DPL. Yeah. The stats prove it. Yeah. All right. Well, I think this goes to Mad Men. And with I this, agree. actually, what's a very interesting stat that we're looking at here, we're, we're almost done with you some. We got two points for Thieves, two points for Armory, two points for Mad Men, three points for the Nightclub. All the other four teams have nothing. They have nothing at all. And, oh um, chronic no drip <laughs> yeah so i mean i think cabal has been like runner up a couple times but like walkers it's kind of like they got runner up here trick i did I, like a few consistently horrible drip from trick and I. <laughs> yeah like, maybe i'm Poor talking guys. shit but like really bad so what um, talk and then, it and then chasers i think we're just hating on the chasers but like we ju they just have too many fortresses too that's many why fortresses. It's kind of rough. they would have won twice with no fortress that's right all right all right fortress might be compete or chasers rather might be competing here though coco zygarde mega diancy is pretty cool yeah this is hot for Swan sure Moon, i'm a big fan <laughs> the nightclub one looks like uh an oras team from it last does, dpl doesn't it is there any yeah the one i played in in uh semis no there isn't yeah that makes sense yeah there's literally no gen 7 mon on that team yeah what do you think of <laughs> ground type camera up on the trick of IT? <laughs> I'll just let that air out a little bit. <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> like, what do you what do you want me to say? <laughs> it's just, I'm, it's just I'm bad. Really, I'm just trying to like give it to like some team that like hasn't gotten it yet. But it, it might be the chasers. Like I think the chasers. I think it's chasers. Good. Yeah. I, I think the walkers are also competing low key um like nice no i disagree really what do you what, yeah. what do you dislike about the walkers team it's just not as cool as chasers that's fair i can see it um zwilas any, any drip for zwilas i know you're a big high dragon fan you big zwilas fan no no, no. i only do fully evolved ones <laughs> um fun fact <laughs> Um, maybe maybe I'm spilling too much, but um, no one on my team wanted Zwilas except for K Kirk. K Kirk really wanted Zwilas. 
So. You know, I say let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> I think like I think there were a couple dark types that were cool. I mean, I don't know. I we were running some Swarless Cox is pretty cool, but yeah, I think I think it goes to Chasers here. Chase. Yeah, that's fine. Well done, Chasers. You get your first point. We'll see if you get to come from behind. I mean, it's a close race. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Oris won. Uh, ooh, okay. I'm okay. I, I feel like it might be Cabal. Is that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> what's like I. I don't think it's Cabal because Cabal's great, but I don't think any other team is that great either. Chasers is cool, actually. Wait, colors has to be Chasers. Chasers this is like colors for sure. the most colorful draft ever. Not ever. I think uh, I think the the SS two like Thieves. Hey, hey, hey. Still kinda... A little bit of hyperbole never hurt nobody. That's fair. That's fair. Um, uh, I like the Armory team a lot here. The top four is just so drip. Yes. And then the walkers. I love the, I, the top five I love for walkers. And then the the Kefagrius kinda Kefagrius ruins kinda it for me. It up. Yeah, I'm not a big Kefagrius fan. Even like the throw tangla I can accept, but Alright. Upon just looking, a mummy in the middle. Upon looking at it more, I'm actually gonna say I like armories a little bit more than I like chasers. And here's why. I think Chasers has a lot of good colors, but they have a lot of like, I don't know. They have two NFE mods that aren't that cool. I think I don't think, I think they really fail the team preview cool. test. They really fail the team preview test. But electric that kind of passes low key. <laughs> um, and then I think Hey, if if it's good enough for Monte, it's good enough for me. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. Were you inspired by Monte for that one? Maybe a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I also, I'm just going to say it, I think Togekiss is like some of the ultimate drip, and I think Dreadigan is really fucking great drip as well. And I think Gren Mega Glade Scissor is also like super dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of my great. Like, Chaser is as the colors, but it doesn't have like the pack. It doesn't like pack the punch behind the mons. Whereas like, I think your team actually has great colors as well. Um, maybe it has a little bit like less yellow than one would want, but like, I don't know. I, I think it actually packs the coolness punch. Like your top four are actually really cool in Togekiss. No Togekiss bias, I agree. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. I agree. I agree. All right. Armory's, Armory's a three. So, uh, W. Let's do it. All right. Oris two. Will Cabal get any kind of drip test win? We'll find out um not here i tell you not, not here, here. <laughs> damn i i think all right okay yeah. this might be the trick of i this might be the trick of i turn really? the colors are great you think so? look at the colors on that and they have dude different. out of all their drafts this is yeah. this is their best one yeah, this is their best one <laughs> if we want to give them a sympathy point this is the it but we can cool. also look at madman here i think madman is also quite good madman is cool although this is also ground type camera up so i don't know if we can truly yeah <laughs> um <laughs> why are there multiple ground type camera ups i oh there's the second mega absol as well nightclub again really doing themselves no favors to extend their lead i think with this team especially um <laughs> The, the yeah. top of this, uh, Tromp Keldio Zapdos is what I used last year. Uh, that team had like a Snorlax and stuff on it. Yeah. Uh, Mega B, I yeah. think. Yeah. Mega B is cool. I, I don't think anyone got Mega B, but that would be like super drip no. for sure. Um, I'm yeah. surprised K-Crick didn't force one. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's t um, He tried. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's no doubt, no it's doubt. It's definitely TOE though. Like, I agree. The colors themselves, and if we pass like... Honestly, like, even team preview tests, like, Gengar, Manaphy, I guess, like, regular Manectric always looks super dopey on team preview, but... But you know it's Mega. You know it's Mega. You know what it's packing. Yeah, you got the you got the turn turn, the Volt turn, the Volt turn turn turn. Do you think the, the yellowish in the middle, like, that's offset by Roselia really, really helps it? Like, if Roselia was a yellow mon, I feel like this team would be, like, so much worse. But since Roselia yeah, the green green is, is really the green helps. is necessary. And the blue and the red, like it really offsets, like yeah, you know, yeah. Like if it was any other mon, I think the team would look a lot. Better. I don't think the Roselia is replaceable in this slot for the colors. Yes, agreed. 
Hi, Gengar nice is drip. Roselia. Nice strategic round for Roselia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. with that, the I'm two down for teams, trick of eye here. The two teams who have no points so far are Walkers and Cabal, which makes me quite sad. I thought our teams were like cool, but some other people got some nice colors. Uh, yeah. All right. Oris three. Let's see. Ooh. I feel this like is the Aura Zygarde. The Aura Zygarde? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Zygarde is this pretty is good. This is the, the low QP team, right? Yeah, yeah. He had basically this exact team in uh, DPL. So he was pretty yeah, and he went pretty pretty well with it. He did really well with it, yeah. Mm -hmm. He just like, showed up after four years and then beep zing with it. It was kind of nice. Yep, <laughs> beast. <laughs> um definitely definitely a cool team i mean I, I think it's a team that has a lot of like good aura between the zygarde and the conch and the sneasel i think sneasel is good aura too um disagree i'm the biggest sneasel hater in really? north america i think it's yep. kind of dope i don't think it's a great mod but i think it's, it's cool design wise <laughs> um, yeah come back to me when it's a weavile all right, all right, all right. i mean i feel like not gonna lie this is a weak pool compared to other other auras yeah options I, there's nothing that immediately stands out as like ultra drippy i'm all right with like thieves chasers and armory but i'm biased on armory for sure i don't think this is it for armory like i like there's nothing that stands out to me as like that's super fucking cool uh, if, if i think the like top the four for me is so cool it's but, cool but it's I yeah. don't, it doesn't take me as like a oh my god i would have never like you know that's fine that's fine in any way i think like I think maybe Thieves. Like, I think the Thieves probably has the most colors going for it in terms of the greens and the blues. I think the Amolga's cool. The Garbodor is a detractor for sure. Yeah. What was the other option you said? Chasers. And I think Cabal is, like, still in the running here. Yeah. Just because I think Zygarde in Oras is drip. It's, like, super drip. And I can, like, really respect a Zygarde pick. And the conk has aura too like how do you feel about the i get scheme it of cabal? it's not winning the colors mm -hmm. against like these or like chasers chasers probably wins the color Indeed. yeah Here. Hmm. if i'm going off colors and vibes i'm probably giving it to chasers i think mew is cool crobat's like super drip I don't know why, but I feel like Reggie Seal is so drip in Auras, and it's like negative drip everywhere else. I don't know why I think that's, but that's where my gut. Yeah, I'm I'm actually the exact same way. Really? Yeah. When, why is it's like that? the Auras only? I don't know. It's just cool. It's cool. It, it's, it's it puts up the numbers. It's cool, dude. Crook, I think, is cool. I gotta give it to Chasers. I think the more I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm down. All right. Cool. So it comes down to VGC. So, so to really go for where the tally's at, we got three at Nimble Nightclub. We got three in Armory. And then we got two for Thieves, Mad Men, Chasers. And we got one for Trick of Eye. Cabal and Walkers. Goose egg. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, all right. Now, this I really love because I actually, I'm, I'm going to say this outright. I was, I was thinking this when I was like looking at all the teams on the way home. I actually think the VGC teams are the most like colorful teams in general on average. I don't I don't know why. But maybe well, it's because like nobody like, cares about like steel types. Yeah. Like if you don't care about steel types, your draft can be so colorful, yeah. I feel like. And in VGC, um, I don't really know too much about it, but I know someone says steel types are generally not that good here. Steel types aren't great so, like, and also, you know, on on the flip side, fire water grass cores actually yeah. like make sense and aren't like cringe for like Yeah, exactly. And those are always like, like the most colorful. And, and yeah. So it offers a lot of color for sure. Um I like Cabal's except I think it definitely like fucks up near the end. But I think Magmar is like super drip personally. Magmar is cool for VGC. Really cool for VGC. Um <laughs> the big deciding factor is gonna be like <laughs> like the, the 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 baby guys like the the fungus is not doing like <laughs> chasers anything no <laughs> you, you cannot pull up with a fungus morgrim fletchender and one of them has to come to the game <laughs> like what 
Um, that like immediately disqualifies. That. Like, I mean, but that's cool. I think that could be interesting. I'm mm -hmm. going to always be biased towards Lapras as well. Um, all right. All right. Here's here's my opinion. You you can tell me if uh, if I'm wrong about this. I think nightclub wins in terms of coolness of Mons, but I think I think Cabal is in the running in terms of color scheme. Mm, interesting. How do you? Feel? I don't think nightclub is that cool at all, actually. Really? Why? No, I, feel like I don't. Blood I don't Moon rate it. So like, demon. I don't like the sprite on Blood Moon. That's fair. It's like too much. Mm hmm. But then if it was smaller. It would look even dopier. It's just too much like dark gray, I think, in the middle for me to really consider it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm I'm like completely disregarding colors. But yeah, I'm just yeah. thinking about the coolness of the mons. But if I'm if I'm thinking colors, I really think it's Cabal. I don't know. Well why. if it's coolness, right? Like the least cool ogre pond form. Yeah. I think. That's true. Less cool Hydreigon. Yeah. Okay, Palde and Tauros, he, he's kind of cool, but um, yeah. Fluttermane, probably too tryhard to be cool. Yes, I, I don't uh, think we can give it to a single Fluttermane team, to be honest, if we're, if we're being right. real. Maybe maybe that's crazy. I don't know. Who, okay, who the, wins this? I could totally go for Cabal here, to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of big on Cabal. Like, me, like, whatever on the Swalot or whatever, it adds purple to the team, which is quite cool. I, I think that the top five looks so drippy, though. Plus, there's a Magmar. Yeah, it's fine. All right, well done. Well done, Cabal. Well done, team. Really. really <laughs> w. Kicking it, kicking it right at the end. Oh, um, I just saw it. VGC 2 and Cabal might get two in a row. Oh, no way. Oh, my God. Oh. That's so drippy. That's so minute. drippy. I love this too. Like great top four. Rotom fan. I'm a big Rotom fan. Fan. Um, a Rotom fan. Fan. Oh my god. Bars. Cabal might be competing. Here's the thing: is all of the other teams, with the exception of maybe Nightclub. No, that's not true. They drafted Illumies. With the exception of. I don't know if there's any exception. I feel like every other team has really dopey low tiers. Like. Right? Like, what is a Stantler Dedene doing here? Stantler. What's a Dedene, Furret? Like, who Rasta, even is Furret? Furret. Like, 14 point Illinids. Morgrum. <laughs> Cabal might win it again. WTF is Anne Morgrim. <laughs> I don't know, like Cabal, VGC2, like King Gambit, the top four just look absolute demon, and then the other four. I think, like dope. I think Madman and Cabal are mm -hmm. the ones for me. I can't argue with a good Lapras, to be fair. Plus it's like Parish Trap with Gothitelle, which is kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, well, I'll let you make the final decision because I'm biased. How do you feel about it? I think it's a Cabal 2-0 in VGC so far. It's a Cabal 2-0 so in VGC. Shout out Desk Smash. Like, VGC I understand Gambit. they're not quite as good in VGC, but yeah. King Gambit, Great Tusk, it's just they cool. have drip. It's just so drippy. Yeah. All right, I dig it. All right. I have VGC 3. This is going to decide a lot here. Um... So we got Nimble with three, Armory with three, and then a bunch of other teams with two. Hmm. I think we're safe. Nightclub is not winning this. <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah, I just looked at yeah. Um all right. Completely unbiased here. I don't I don't think Gabal is winning this either. Um Who's the other one? I unironically think Armory might might get it here. The round eight Dragapult is pretty goddamn drippy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and then Pult Chien Pao is like mm -hmm. actually a good combo, I know. Yeah. And then you have the, the Terra Normal Entei, you know, <laughs> Iron Hands is a beast. Do you know anything about Poltergeist? Like what 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 is it? Its ability heals your your uh teammate when okay. it switches in. So it's like the same as Sinisha, but yeah, but but it's two points and yeah. bad. 
<laughs> but it is interesting. I know Altaria is I super drip. I don't look at it and feel the same as when I look at like Gothita or like Glimmet. You know what I mean? It yeah, yeah. It looks like it, well, it belongs. I know Altaria is super drip though. The one so VGC match I ever commentated and uploaded yeah. uh, was Altaria just wheelchairing. Really? I fucking Yeah, it was like Cotton Guard, Will O Wisp against the all physical team. And <laughs> it just walled everything. I'm like a major awesome. Altaria fan as of recently. I just won a draft league by, mm -hmm. with round one Altaria, so I really I really can't complain about it. Excuse you? I did. I went <laughs> undefeated. This is Wi-Fi for you. I went undefeated in a Wi-Fi draft league. Shout out league. to Wi-Fi, I, I guess. Shout out with Wi-Fi. <laughs> undefeated in a Wi-Fi draft league with, with round one Altaria, and my prize is I'm getting a 3D printed Altaria at some point. It's going to be fun. That's um, kind of sick, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dope uh yeah i think you win this not gonna lie like i can't you know what else is hey i'm not gonna argue team? against you <laughs> you know what else is super dope on your team what's Entei. that i think entei is cool like, yeah VGC, entei is Entei. super cool like gouging fire is drip but in vgc particularly entei is more drip than gouging fire but in every other tier i would disagree with that statement same thing with reggie steel and like like it's the same principle i can see i could see it just because it's cool. Like, you got Entei. What do you... All right. So, Armory gets four. I think that means Armory wins. W. With w somehow w. Nimble Nightclub in second place. Although, I feel like they... They, they had, had a strong like, start. They, I feel, they had a strong start, and I feel like they potentially held the record for some of the worst ones as well. So, I don't know if uh, it's really a second place, but... No, you gotta, <laughs> gotta compete with Trick Eye there, so... Um, Poor Dreamwalkers did not get a single drip team, unfortunately. That's Dark Rise team though, so that's true. That makes sense. He probably deserves it. Um I would say the the you... walkers, I do like their Oras 2 a bit. It's Oras just two. you know Yes, I liked theirs as well. I think that was the colors on Trick of Ire too much. Sure. Yeah, the colors are just... this is insane. This might be like a top three of all of the entire draft to be honest in terms of drippiness like that one and then the thieves ss2 and then i don't know like those are the two that stand out in my mind yeah Anyways. i think overall thieves ss2 is number one yeah like out of all of them yeah i think i think thieves wins the uh the individual award like like number one of all time they got the mvp they really do got the mvp all right i literally kept a goddamn tally of this on my notebook and it's gonna stay here forever look at that, <laughs> look at that. Right. incredible well thank you for joining me on this l5 i really appreciate it yeah of and, course um, congratulations for your team to be the most rep like clearly this was worth your time so <laughs> yeah yeah um i'm really looking forward to dcl though um i, I are you gonna do like commentaries of games on your channel this time around as well? i always intend to yeah. and then like eventually i burn out yeah but uh you did you did yeah. a few of um mine last season to, to yeah i did maybe my own regret but you know, <laughs> season ended well it's all good no yeah. um yeah i'm gonna try and do the same on mine so maybe we'll have you on soon again so hell yeah Thank you so much for uh, for hopping on, though. Congratulations to the yeah. Ar Infernal Armory. Let them know that they're uh, the drippiest team. And uh, good luck this season as well. Hopefully we uh, we thank you, thank see you, you uh, in playoffs and and for sure good DCLs. All right, bye everyone.